diminish the pain so that you can take a deeper breath and be like a little bit more at ease. Uh, it's not an opiate, it's not like a long-term pain medicine, a pain redu reducing medicine, but it works for a few hours every application. And I don't think of any major contraindications. You probably wouldn't rub it on a pregnant woman's belly and you probably, um, you know, you probably would not use it during pregnancy. You probably, uh, tobacco topically, as a liniment or as a poultice. I mean, just a, just if you were out here and didn't have your alcohol extract or your or your oil, I mean, you could literally take a leaf of this tobacco, crush it up, get it juicy, and put it right on an insect bite to diminish the inflammation and the pain pretty darn quick. I mean, so tobacco historically by so many cultures has been used topically for pain and for in inflammatory conditions. It used to be this particular tobacco stand and this particular, these tobacco leaves, the really nice ones that uh, were unblemished, didn't have bugs in them, weren't, didn't have brown spots, I would save and, and they would be a small component of my like hemorrhoid salve. It's because it's like really like, I guess people with hemorrhoids, it's very painful um, and they get very swollen and it's excruciating pain for some of them. So the feedback I would get that whenever I use datura leaf, tobacco leaf, yerba monza leaf as my three main plants in my hemorrhoid formulas, the, the feedback I get were pretty top notch. You know, it's like people who, who have excruciatingly painful hemorrhoids, when they tell you something works, you can believe it's a good formula because it's one of those problems that uh, you psychologically can't pretend that it worked. It either works or it doesn't work, you know. And um, I personally haven't had them, so I, I don't have that firsthand, but I trust what the people say, you know, that their hemorrhoids make them have tear up and have so much pain and they're excruciating that they love the salve and they come back and they recommend it to 20 other people. And uh, and I always attributed that to the, the, the tobacco and the datura as being very significant in that formula for taking away their hemorrhoid pain pretty quick. Also, you can it's safe enough to use that if it's in your, um, if you have a salve of this datura leaf or just the salve of the tobacco leaf and you have really blistered cold sores or uh, that are painful, <coughs> cracking, a little dab. You don't want to consume a lot of it because uh, it might make you nauseous or give you a headache, but you'd have to consume a lot for that to be the case. But you can actually put it on cold sores and vaginal sores, uh, herpes sores basically, and to minimize the inflammation and pain that you're experiencing almost instantaneously. Safe enough for the period of time you have the herpes sores. Uh, again, we don't really do tobacco internally for any reason of any consequence unless you want a purging shamanic journey from hell <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, tobacco's pretty hard but mars one like mars one if you're going on mars one uh, you know um but tobacco internally um has a history of being used to rid the body of worms and can be used both with humans and animals very effectively. And I've done it enough with enough, uh, with a handful of humans, but with a heck of a lot of pets. And what I like to do is uh, those capsules, those double odd capsules that I have in my first aid kit. If you take and dry <coughs> the leaf of tobacco and crush it up into a fine enough powder to pack a double lot caps, one to three of those a day, for an average size adult is enough to begin the, the breakdown, the release, and the shedding of things from roundworms, tapeworms, uh, the bigger worms. The bigger worms that are literally adhering to the intestinal tract. And so I would suggest that before you do that, you kind of like feel really confident about your herbal skills and um, and are really attentive to the patient or client who may have. But if you really wanted to get worms out of the body very quickly, out of humans, dogs, horses, goats, sheep, um, tobacco is one of the great 
um, vermifuge, one of the great worm medicines mm -hmm. for deworming. Very quickly, very strongly, it will actually cramp you up. It will make your intestinal tract shed its like inner layers or its you know the 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 layer that's inside your intestinal tract where the worms often are living and holding on to and breeding and Ew. basically hanging out and wiggling about. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I know, right? Um, <laughs> huh? It's going to be painful, but um, it's effective. And it's the pain is short lived. It's spasms. It's cramps. It's elimination. It's diarrhea. But it's it's a lot better than having the round worms, pin worms, and tape worms. And you know it works because you see them wiggling in your stools. Yeah. Yeah. I would just suggest. I'm just putting it out there as one of the as one of the internal uses. Uh, you got to kind of be like. You know, participating, present. Uh, really think about the dosage. The human dosage I gave you, one to three caps, uh, would go no further than three days of doing this. And if you don't see any worms by then, after three caps, three days in a row, then you either didn't have worms, or it's not going to work. And you really need to stop after three days. Like my body weight, you know, maybe two caps for your your body weight and, and size. Um, just that's a general and it works really well I mean it's his I mean I'm not making it up and I'm not it's just historically it's one of the most the finest uh, deworming medicines that we have ac to, access to as an herbalist How many times a day? you would do one cap three times a day for three days in a row so three caps a day Can I ask a question? yeah yeah so all the preparations that you're talking about with this plant are pretty much dry plants. Yeah, dry. And then for the cat food, it would be dry leaf. Dried and ground. Dried and ground. Powder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fresh plant. Um, I mean, I've made a fresh plant extract of this, and yeah, it's a kick ass liniment. It's very powerful. Uh, but I do believe we can absorb anabasine and nicotine through our skin. Mm -hmm. And so I know that if I dry it, I don't have to worry about the absorption of any nicotine or anabasine, especially if I'm going to work with elderly folks or children. Uh, the drying gives me an edge of, of safety, but fresh plant extract, is, if you don't mind absorbing a lot of nicotine um, and anabasine, which are these two powerful.